Hello friends! Happy Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. <laughs> I'll go ahead and wait for everyone to pop on and then we'll get started. But I'm going to post the shopping link for the makeup and then the link to my top and my necklaces all right here pinned in the comments. There we go. I took off my acrylic nails and I painted. <laughs> Look how I'm like a child. Like how do how am I 30 something years old and I can't paint my nails. But when you do pop on, let me know where you're watching from. Say hello. And then we'll get started. But as promised, I was going to show you guys how to use the um, loose powder foundation. I talked about this the other day um, where I went over all of the different foundation options. And the loose powder is one that I haven't really used that much. Um, but I do know a lot of people really like the coverage because it's very um, light on the skin and um, it gives like a light to medium coverage. So this is like perfect if you just want to throw in a little bit of makeup and you don't want to like feel all dolled up or say you don't really like wearing a ton of makeup um, or if you have mature skin and you really don't like liquids. Um, so this is a really good foundation option and it's also available in the Kudos. Um, so the colors for the loose powders, they don't run the same as the liquids. So just message me and I can tell you what color you are for the powders. But I'm gonna be using the shade Poplin just for reference. Um, it's a little bit dark on me, but we're gonna tone it down with a pressed powder. So I'll wait just a few more minutes so no one misses out and then we'll get started. Hello from Iowa, awesome, welcome. Happy to have you here. If you guys could all do me a huge solid and click that share button in your bottom left hand corner would help me out so, so much. And then the top right hand corner, you can actually click those three little dots and then you can turn on live notifications. That way when I go live, Facebook will tell you. Um, so something else that I wanted to inform you of is from today until the 17th, Unique is doing a little special on the brow product, um, the Brow Obsession Palette plus the brush together, 20% savings. You also, it comes like cute and gift wrapped, which is perfect for Mother's Day if you're still shopping for your mom. Um, so this is going to be on sale under brows. Scroll down when you get to the brow section and you'll see it on there. But like I said, 20% off, you get the brow palette and the brush together in that little package. And like I said, it ends on the 17th. So just for three days, you can score this on sale. So definitely scoop that up um, if you have yet to grab the brow palette. But okay, we'll get started. So for like my like coverage, my full coverage, I um, always want something more full coverage on my under eyes. I just, I don't like when I can see this little dark circle right here, even though it's gotten so much better with the skincare. Um, I still love to have like that really flawless coverage. Um, so I'm going to use my concealer first, which typically you'll use concealer after your foundation, but since we're not using a liquid, we're just going to be using powders. You want to use your liquids first. So on my skin right now, I have on my mattifying face primer and my setting spray. I do this routine before I put on my makeup no matter what type of makeup I'm using it makes your makeup look full coverage last all day fill in your large pores fill in your fine lines it's so 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 important and like I said you can get the primer of your choice whether you want the mattifying one or the glorious one um in the kudos so if you're not familiar with kudos it's basically just like our monthly deal I'm good how are you Megan yay hello guys I'm gonna pin up my hair did I bring my I didn't think I was going to need to, but it's annoying me. All right. So concealer on and I'm using the shade Organza and I'm just going to tap this. So for these little blemishes there, I'm going to tap them over on those products, but we're not using a ton of the concealer, just a little bit, just enough to give us a little bit more coverage. And now I'm going to use my smaller blending bud um, by Unique and we're just going to blend this in. Now, like I said about the no coverage coverage, the concealer is amazing. Look at that. Isn't that so good? So it, even if I'm not wearing like a ton of coverage, I still really love to kind of pop a little bit of my concealer on just to hide a little bit of redness, any blemishes, anything like that. Um, and also kind of takes away um, like the redness of it. Or if you have dark circles like I do, just popping a teeny tiny bit of concealer under here will do wonders. So I always love to take it up over my nose, over on my eyes, and it just really evens out 
that coverage just like that but isn't that like amazing just by itself that was a teeny tiny bit of the concealer and then I'll just I don't want any lines so I'll just kind of <clears throat> tug on those areas like that with the blending bud and now I already look so much more fuller coverage than when we started so that was just a teeny tiny bit of my concealer so now I need to set it just my under eyes so I'm going to use my pressed powder but I'm going to use the lighter shade in the shade scarlet for this step instead of using my translucent powder I had it out because I wasn't sure if I was going to want to use it but I think I'm going to be okay with just my pressed powder so we're going to do the pressed powder on a dry brush and I'm going to I'm not a brush it's a blending bud I'm just going to scoop that up on there and then we're going to press this underneath the under eye and this is going to set our concealer it's also going to prevent any under eye creasing and it's also going to highlight our under eye so it does a lot and this will help to keep that concealer in place so it won't crease on my under eye you can also kind of pop this in your laugh lines if you need to um, but we just kind of press that product in there and then now i'm just going to kind of sweep away so it's not super heavy it's really light but it's also going to be setting that area so that should be good enough but you can already see how much more bright and tighter my under eyes are looking okay so now that we've kind of done like what we have to do um, for this coverage now I'm gonna do my loose powder foundation so like I was saying we're gonna do the loose powder for the coverage and this is really great if you don't really like a liquid coverage or if you want something very very light the coverage on this is like meaty or light to medium um, you can build it up to be more of a full coverage if you use more concealer um, but we're gonna do just the loose powder light to medium coverage is good enough for this quarantine makeup look <laughs> um so we're gonna take it like this so it comes with this little cap i recommend applying this guy with either the powder concealer brush or the kabuki brush you want something a little bit more dense um to apply this product and this will do the trick so i just kind of bounce it in and you're just going to bounce 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 until you feel like you have enough product on there and then you're just going to swirl onto the skin just like this and this is going to give you a very like I said light to medium coverage it's extremely light on the skin um, like I said before it's perfect if you're not like a huge um, liquid fan because it's still gonna give you really nice coverage but it's very very light and minimal so perfect if you are not a huge makeup gal and I'm avoiding my under eye with this and that is because I don't want to, I'm moving the brush around a little bit more intentionally, a little bit heavier handed, and I don't want to move the concealer around that I just put on. So this is the Loose Powder Foundation in the shade Poplin, and I'm using it with the powder concealer brush, but you can also use the um, Kabuki brush for this step as well. Now I'm kind of going back and forth between like a swirling motion and a tapping motion like this. Because wherever I put that concealer, like on my nose, I don't want to move it. So I'm just going to kind of swirl over that area. Just like this. And then we're just going to keep going until we like the coverage. Yes, this is the loose powder in the shade Poplin. Now, if you're not sure what colors you are in this product, just message me and I can let you know. Um, it does run a different spectrum than the liquids. So like you won't be the shade Taffeta in it, for example. So I'm wearing the shade Poplin for mine. And we're almost done. I feel like I really like this coverage so far. But like I said, I'm avoiding my under eye with this. I'm just kind of going everywhere else. Okay. Now that we have that all on there, now you can clearly see, you can see some disconnect there. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my pressed powder foundation in the shade taffeta and we're going to use this for all over coverage one it bumps up the coverage but two this product is so incredibly silky soft and it's very very lightweight so you can pair it on top of the uh, the loose powder and it won't look super duper powdery or feel really heavy or look really cakey so we're going to do this just to even everything out so you don't see any disconnect there um, with the loose powder and the concealer and also like i said it's going to bump up the coverage just a little bit so i've only done one side of my face and you can clearly see how soft the pressed powder makes your makeup look see that you can totally see where i used concealer and where i didn't 
versus this side it looks very soft very blended it's still very light coverage it doesn't look really heavy um, so we're just gonna take it on a big kabuki brush and we're just gonna bounce this just like this off our skin just like so but do you see how soft that is you guys I love this pressed powder and I love that it's not making me feel cakey or powdery or heavy or anything like that. It's very, very light. So for coverage wise, we did use the concealer, we did use the pressed powder, and we did use the loose powder. Now, if you have um, oily skin, your skin's going to love this routine. But always, always, I don't care what skin type you have, always make sure that you're using your primer and your setting spray. All right, so now we're done. So now if you do have more of a dry skin and you're like, oh gosh, I don't know if I could wear that much powder, at this point in time, you're gonna spritz your face with the rose water. It's gonna add a little bit of moisture into the pressed powder and the loose powders. Um, obviously let it dry and then you continue on to your um, the rest of your routine. I linked my necklaces and my top in the comments and, this, and the description. Okay, so now just for a little bit, of structure to our skin so we don't look washed out i'm gonna use my beachfront bronzer with the tapered blusher brush and i'm just gonna contour just a little bit just to give us some structure to our skin it's very flattering on takes away that kind of like blown out like washed out look and it gives us this really nice kind of sun-kissed glow <laughs> my nails are a little bit of a hot mess but they're better than they were before. <laughs> I don't know how I made it into my 30s without knowing how to paint my nails, but here we are. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to continue to kind of warm up my complexion. And again, we're using the Beach from Bronzer in the shade Hermosa, which I believe is still in stock. But if you have yet to grab this brush, highly recommend. It's also available in the Kudos and then around the jawline. Like so. And then around the nose, just squeeze the brush, run down the sides and the bottom. There we go. Okay, so now for blush, we're just going to add a little bit of blush just to give us kind of a not like over the top kind of washed out look. So we're going to use the pressed blush in the shade Sisterly and I'm just going to tap this on the highest parts of my cheekbones. And this is also going to act kind of as a highlight as well. So you don't have to wear like a ton of different product we're just going to use the blush as almost a two for one and this is the shade sisterly which is my favorite just like so and then you can contour and then you can always take your pressed powder and even that up and there we go there is our coverage isn't that so nice i love how soft this makeup look is very soft on the skin you can still see all of my freckles and little things like that but um yeah it's very very lightweight okay so now for brows we're gonna do the brow art um I'm sorry the brow obsession palette like I said before in the beginning of this unique is having a sale on this palette so you can get the palette and the brush both together and it's on sale 20% of savings and it's going to be under brows but it's only on sale for three days so if you have yet to grab this Definitely do so. They just announced it this morning that it's on sale. So make sure you snag it. Uh, the shipping is not delayed as far as I know. Um, it's still three, I think they said three to seven business days. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> I did. This one came out a little janky, but I think next time I'll have Ryan paint them. Never realized how like shaky I was. Thought I would have like a steady hand with doing makeup but <laughs> guess not guess I'll stick to my strong suits okay so now for brows I'm using the brow artist brush with the brow obsession palette in the shade brunette and there's three different palettes blonde brunette and then dark brunette and what I love about these palettes is they come with multiple colors in them so even if you have darker or lighter hair um, there's a color for everybody. So the brunette palette, for example, has a light and a dark brown and then two highlights and then the pomade, which is like a wax to help to hold your brows down and also to help the powder to go on really seamlessly and stay in place. It is water resistant, super easy to use, but this pencil, I'm sorry, not the pencil, the brush is so crucially important. I love that they're doing them together in that bundle. So you get both of them and they come gift wrapped. So if you are shopping for someone's birthday or Mother's Day or something, it's a perfect gift. 
how do you cover wrinkles around the lips so wrinkles can't really like be covered because they're more of like indents um, just like acne scars and things like that but you can make it less noticeable with using um, very hydrating products so just message me um, I missed Carolyn Carolyn and I can give you a recommendation I know that you can totally see my left hand came out like decent but my right hand <laughs> looked like my daughter painted it. <laughs> I need to take a file and try to clean it up. But after I was finished, I was like, I'm done with you. Whatever. Okay, but look how nice the brows turned out. You can see how it really kind of gives your makeup look like the structure it needs. It also makes your like this eye space look like you have so much more room for eyeshadow. So it really does make a very large difference in the outcome of your, your eyebrows. So make sure that you snag it while it's on sale, which again, it's only on sale until the 17th. So I basically just follow the natural shape and direction of my eyebrows. So I just kind of outline them and then I fill them in. And when you're outlining, you're not going to outline the tail portion. You're just going to outline like the front. And then I only will use the pomade when I first start on each side. You don't want to use too much pomade or else your brows will look a little bit waxy or shiny. If that's the case, you just used a little too much wax and that's totally fine. You can always comb through them using the lash brow comb or you can just add a little bit more powder on top of them. So just like so. And then this flat ended side you can take in the highlight portions and one's a cream, one's a powder and you can tap both sides in and then this is a really great product for kind of cleaning up your eyebrows if you went too low or too high or if you need a little highlighted area. All right, so for our eye look today, I'm just going to tap my fluffy crease brush into my bronzer and very slightly kind of go in the crease, just this little area. Um, for redheads, you're going to want the blonde palette. Or if you have gray hair, the blonde palette is also what you're going to want. The light brown in that one is very kind of taupey and very like kind of grayish vibed. <laughs> if you like my description. Um, so it works really well with um, gray and red hair. Is the pencil out of stock? The pencil is out of stock in medium and brunette, but the light shade is in stock still, I believe. Which I love to show the cream. Awesome. Ooh, yes, I love that coverage. So our eyes, our eyes are done. Now, super important, especially when you're using your loose powder foundation, is setting your makeup. It really sorry, it really makes a really big difference on how good it looks at the end because it's gonna add a moisturizing touch into your skin. So your face isn't gonna look makeupy or powdery or whatever. Um, it's also just gonna kind of like set it, making it look and kind of like the, it's gonna create like a bond between your pressed powder and your loose powder. So very, very important to make sure you're always setting your makeup, especially the loose powder. Okay, so now that we've set it, our eyebrows are done, our eyes are done, I'm just gonna throw on a little mascara and a little lip gloss and we're gonna be done. The lash brow comb is this guy and this is gonna be under tools. It's really important to make sure that you comb through your eyelashes before you do your mascara and then you can comb through your eyebrows if you've messed up um, or to just get any foundation out of them is really, really helpful. So I'm just gonna take my lash primer just like it's a crime not to prime your face, same goes for your eyelashes. It's so important to make sure you're priming your lashes before you apply your mascara. It hydrates your lashes, it helps them to grow, it helps them to curl, gives you even more length and volume. It does so, so much for them. Does the loose powder run dark? It does run a little bit darker, um, but it's like a different color spectrum. So that's why I just, just message me and I can give you a recommendation of what color you are. But I use the shade Poplin, if that helps. And it was like a really perfect, Poplin is very neutral for the color of the loose powder. I wear the shade Taffeta in the pressed powder. So the pressed powder Taffeta and the loose powder Poplin are very similar, if that kind of helps to narrow down your color. But we always do have a love it guarantee. So if you don't love anything for any reason, you could just return it for your money back. So if you usually wear pop, or I'm sorry, if you wear chiffon, then you're going to be probably one shade darker than poplin, which I'm spacing on that color name. What about blonde hair? You're going to want the blonde palette. Or, and or the light pencil. 
is the color crisp in the crushed powder lipstick close to the bright pink color in the splash lipstick that was tired yes it is um i believe that really bright color is actually still in stock in the liquid lipsticks as well if you're talking about superb the really bright pink one um it is very similar yes i don't know if i have that one handy no i don't but yes it's basically the same color and then you're going to want the lip liner and perky all right, so now I'm applying my 4D mascara, and this is just going to go right over top of the lash primer, and this really gives you amazing length and volume with your lashes. It has fibers and gel infused in it, and it just makes your lashes look so good. I love that it's not like clumpy where it looks like spider legs or that it just looks too much at the base. It really combs them out really nicely. Isn't that great? Oh, I love it. Okay, so now for lips super super simple i'm just going to take my lip liner in the shade pouty and i'm going to line my lips with this now this when i was a stay-at-home mom when i didn't work um was my favorite thing all day long i could kiss my kids i could drink my coffee eat my food and my lipstick my lip liner would stay in place all day long and fun fact it's actually what made me join this company because i was so impressed with this lip liner so this is what I would do. I would line my lips like this, and then I would fill them in just like so. And these lip liners, you guys, are completely smudge proof, kiss proof, you name it proof. So I loved that I could put this on and I was still able to kiss my kids, kiss my husband without having my lipstick come off all over the place. And these lip liners are only $15. So they're super affordable. All right. <laughs> Just making sure it looks good. All right, and there we go. Isn't that pretty? And like I said, kiss proof, smudge proof, you name it. If I had a glass of water, I'd take a sip. It is so good not going to move around and there we are we're done isn't that such an easy look so lip liner in pouty which we filled in we're just wearing a little bit of bronzer on our eyes we use the 40 and the lash primer for our lashes and then for our face we did the loose powder foundation in poplin and the press powder in the shade taffeta for our coverage basically and then we did use a teeny bit of our concealer on our under eye so that's it you guys super light if i was doing this routine not on camera and maybe take me five minutes it's that fast yes the lip liner is in the shade pouty it's a really good very um like natural nude i love it and i love that i can have this on and it still has the payout so like i always tell you guys if you're going to put something on over it and you're going to be eating or drinking or kissing or just you don't want to touch up at all fill in your whole lip with your lip liner because it clings on to whatever you're using so now I could put on a little bit of gloss and even if my gloss fades my lip liner is still going to be there all right just like that right in the middle isn't that so pretty yeah um that's gonna, oh good becky i'm so glad how should i go about that Lori? message me here on facebook so if you need a color match or you need any recommendations for makeup or products or skincare or whatever hair products just tap on my face a little description window will pop down you will click on my name and that will take you to my facebook page and then you'll be able to message me there um or you can always message me on instagram my name is raya hope on instagram um but any way that you want. You can also even email me as well. I have a, my website pinned right here in the comments, rayahopebeauty.com. Click on that and scroll to the very bottom and you'll be able to send me an email um, that way as well. But really, I check all of my 
uh, inboxes and I'll get back to you guys same day. Uh, all I need is a selfie facing a window. No filter. You can be wearing makeup or not. It doesn't really matter. Um, but just facing a window it does not need to be like sunny outside. It can be cloudy, rainy, does not matter. As long as it's natural light, I can give you an accurate color match. Um, and then just let me know what you were kind of feeling. If you were wanting something more loose powder, if you were wanting something more full coverage, um, I take that into consideration before I give you a recommendation as well. So make sure you tell me all of that. Lip stain. Yes, the lip stains are amazing. They're really, they do not come off. <laughs> I mean, they'll come off with like a makeup remover wipe, but they're good. They're amazing. But if anyone else has any questions, just holler them out or just send them to me in a DM and I would be so happy to help. I'm going to do a try on over on my Instagram story if you love fashion or clothes or just want to be entertained. Um, so follow me over on Instagram next. My name on there is Raya Hope. And then to play the Instagram stories, you'll just tap on my profile picture on Instagram. Are there closet maids? <laughs> No, I don't have a closet made, but I did have a stylist come in and do it, if that's what you mean. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you soon. I'll see you over on Instagram next. Bye.